So without further ado, let me first introduce uh, one of the, the great strategists and thinkers about these issues and uh, a member of our state assembly, Assemblywoman Julia Brownlee. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Thank you, Terry. Last year, I was privileged uh, to author AB 1998 that would have banned once and for all the ubiquitous and unnecessary single-use plastic bags in our great state of California. We banded together in, a, in an historical coalition that you rarely witness here in the Capitol in support of AB 1998, the California grocers, the retailers, labor, the environmental community, and hundreds of cities, individuals, and organizations stood together along with our visionary governor who also stood ready to sign AB 1998 because we all understood so clearly the enormous economic and environmental benefits to our state and to our planet. But in the last month of the legislative session, the American Chemistry Council and out-of-state plastics manufacturers spent millions of dollars to kill AB 1998 in the Senate. It was a David and Goliath fight, and we were not able to accomplish, at least last year, what we all know is the right solution, a statewide ban on plastic bags. Even though cities and counties wanted this, the state to succeed, and they joined us vigorously in that pursuit, they have been poised and ready to do it alone, if need be, without Sacramento. And that is why we stand here today to recognize the cities and counties that have already stepped up, or that are ready to step up, to fight the good fight region by region for the environmental benefit for all of California. I am delighted to stand here with the County of Los Angeles, which just passed its own ordinance. The decision was a courageous decision, knowing how the American Chemistry Council will fight back by legal challenge as they have with every other city that has attempted to move forward on an ordinance. The decision was also an historic one because Los Angeles County is the largest municipality in our state and incorporates 88 cities that can utilize the county's EIR and move forward as well. If Los Angeles County were a state in the United States, it would be the eighth largest one in the country. I'm also proud to be standing here with leaders from so many cities and from San Jose and Long Beach that are on the cusp of making similar decisions and San Francisco that has been the leader and the true trailblazer on single-use plastic bags. I also want to especially thank and recognize the governor for his environmental leadership, not only on this issue, but also through his great stewardship has made California the catalyst for so many progressive environmental policies around our globe. I want to thank the sponsor of AB 1998, Heal the Bay, who brought this issue to the forefront of our consciousness and was willing to do the hard work here in Sacramento. And to the rally organizers, Green Cities California and Clean Seas Coalition, which includes members such as the Seventh Generation Advisors, Environment California, Surfrider, and California Coast Keepers. And finally, I wanted to thank my principal co-author of AB 1998, uh, Senator Mark Leno, and all the other assembly members and senators who supported this bill. And I see my own senator here, Senator Pavley, who was a great supporter um, of this bill. Banning single-use plastic bags is no longer just an environmental and economic issue. It is a movement that is spreading around the globe. I was in Paris two weeks ago, and there are no single-use plastic bags there. China has banned them, India has banned them, Ireland has banned them, even Bangladesh has banned them. 
Californians use 19 billion plastic bags a year, and California cities and counties are not waiting any longer. They are leading. They are taking action because it is the right thing to do for our planet, and it is the smart thing to do for their communities by saving scarce taxpayer dollars. They understand that the only way to a more sustainable California is by leading themselves and paving the way for the rest and, and paving the way for the rest of the state and the special interests to follow them. I want to make one public uh, service announcement before I conclude, and I just want to let the cities and counties who are considering a ban to know that they can learn more about how to host an annual Day Without a Bag, an educational and bag giveaway event in their communities by checking AB 1998's sponsor, Heal the Bay's website, www.healthebay. Org. You can also attend a free web broadcast conference about bag ban regulation hosted by the Los Angeles County and Heal the Bay on December 15th. It has been said the Stone Age did not end for lack of stones. I hope we can say this for single-use plastic bags as well and move our state towards alternatives that protect our health and protect our economy. Thank you very much. Woo-hoo!